So we turned the team that has the, well, at least they've had the championship window and they have been cursed, man. Buffalo has been cursed. They're starving for a title. They haven't gotten one. They got a star, a superstar QB in the NFL and on their team. They've had some great players come through the door and they just, like I said, haven't gotten it done. It's a team that uh, definitely is uh, still looking to compete, still can compete. Um, but their roster just looks so different. So uh, they were 11 and six last year. AFC's champs. They lost to the, the Chiefs once again in the divisional. They were seven and two at home, four and four away, four and two division. 451 points scored, 311 points against. They were eighth in passing yards with 244.4, seventh in rushing with 130.1, sixth in points four with 26 and a half, and fourth in points against with 18.3. They had a complete thing. Um, yeah, all top 10 numbers is nice. Let's look at their depth chart. The Bills depth chart, we start with our uh, offensive line with this three wide receiver, one tight end set. Left tackle is going to be Deion Dawkins at number seven on my left tackle list. Um, yeah, just uh, he's a monster, dude. Monster. Um, definitely has proven himself to being a super reliable uh, pass blocker. Definitely helping Josh Allen have the time to make the plays and he doesn't have to scramble all the time. I think Deion Dawkins there is huge for him. Uh, left guard Edwards, young and is solid. Definitely, um, I think he's going to be a solid guy. They definitely wanted to get a little younger on the offensive line. They got that. I think Edwards is a nice piece for him. At the center position, Morse being gone, they have McGovern, who's uh, looking pretty reliable. But he's young, so um, I think having him will help uh, Josh Allen. Like I said, they're just trying to get younger, and I think um, getting a guy like McGovern to come in, I think is a positive for him, even if he might not be a honorable mention or top 10 guy. Uh, still, I think trying to get this offensive line um, back to where it needs to be is, is a good thing. Right guard Osiris Torrance, honorable mention. I mean, they drafted him for a reason. They saw the potential. And he definitely has the potential of being a really good right guard in this league um, for a long time. So having him here is really important. And then on the right tackle position, you got Spencer Brown, who's an honorable mention. I mean, this is a guy that, A, the tackles uh, are able to uh, be reliable. And they're able to hold up their own, man. So that is a good thing for them. Um, with the QB, of course, Josh Allen, number three on the quarterback list. He can do a little bit of everything, you know, for his size. He's got the speed to scramble. Uh, he's just jumping over people. Um, definitely not afraid to get hit. And, uh, well, I mean, he's got top-level arm talent. Definitely uh, extremely explosive guy. You want this guy on the team. I mean, he'll find you open. He'll find you open. Um, the only thing is his turnovers, and he needs to limit those. At the fullback, you do have Gilliam, who's a pretty great fullback. Um, definitely reliable for him. And running back, James Cook, honorable mention. I think having him more in the offense is going to be very vital and crucial. I think that's what's happening right now, uh, especially in the past game. Having James Cook out there is nice. So, um, like I said, they shied away from being a running team, but I think they're trying to become a balance. You know, again, John, James Cook is going to be uh, he's going to be pretty good this year. I think he'll definitely get a thousand rushing yards. Uh, for the wide receivers, it looks different, dude. Uh, they lost they lost a lot of people. Um, they got Khalil Shakir, who is in a big role as their wide receiver one. Um, I think he's got the ability to do that. He's young. Um, and he's ready to prove something. I think Josh Allen's going to turn him into uh, a stud. On the other side, Keon Coleman, another another guy that I think Josh Allen turned into a stud. Um, definitely a, a big receiver that can make plays. He's a great draft pick, which they drafted this year. Um, at the slot, Mac Hollins, whose career has been honestly iffy because of his playing time. Hasn't been able to play that much, but... He was a key contributor for the Raiders last year. He's going to be a key contributor, I believe, for the Bills this year. Uh, but he's in a big role. So, And then on the tight end position, you have Dalton Kincaid, honorable mention. Definitely a guy that uh, everyone was assuming he'd probably take over over Dawson Knox. And that's 
be coming true. So Dalton Kincaid definitely, absolutely uh, is a stud, is a monster. So watch out for him. He's going to be good. On the defensive side of the football, you do have a 4-3 base. They got to start out with Greg Rousseau, who's on will mention. Uh, definitely coming into his own. I know it took him a little bit, but he's actually being able to, to pressure the QB um, and definitely being uh, pretty good in the run. So overall, Greg Rousseau is really nice, uh, especially, you know, when they – they saw the talent. He just needed to take a little bit of time, you know, uh, but he developed nicely. Uh, D-tackle, Daquan Jones, he's just a veteran presence. Um, definitely going to be good for the run. Uh, definitely just good up the middle. So, overall, that's good for them to have Daquan Jones. At the other D-tackle, Ed Oliver, at number 10 on the D-tackle list, he surprised me a lot. He definitely was more of a, uh, more of a game wrecker. Definitely a guy that can... Uh, Bull rush through the interior and go after opposing QBs, go after opposing running backs and get some stuff going. So, yeah, Ed Oliver, that's really nice. He's really developed nicely as well after a slow start. And then D.N. Epineza, he's just going to have to step that up, man. He's just going to have to be the guy that they drafted, the the, the sack artist, the, the reliable D.N., man. I know they got Russo, but having Epineza now kind of step up would be nice. Uh, linebackers, they have Williams, who's, uh, well, he's he's got a big role, man. He's got a big role, and he's young. Um, he's kind of taking over Matt Milano's spot right now as Matt Milano is injured. So will Williams uh, do well? Time will tell, but he's got a big role, and he's young. Um, and the middle linebacker, Terrell Bernard, he won an honorable mention there on the list for inside linebackers. Um, definitely a tackling machine. Definitely uh, looking to make some big plays. Definitely reliable. Uh, I definitely like uh, Terrell Bernard. And as well as the other outside, Moro. He's a journeyman in the NFL. He's played for a few teams in the last few years. Um, I know he's trying to establish himself in a home, and I think this is a huge opportunity for him to showcase what he has, what he can do, uh, especially with some good numbers in his career. Um, with the secondary, you do have Rasul Douglas, who it needs to stay healthy. He's always been kind of a nickel kind of guy, so this is a big role for him. Uh, on the other side, you have Benford. He's got upside. He's young. So he's going to showcase some talent there. And the nickelback being Teron Johnson, who I think is a solid choice. He's been playing for the Bills for a while. Uh, been a scheme guy there, so that's a good thing for him. Um, safeties, DeMar Hamlin. I mean, he's got to prove it. I mean, he's already proved that he can... Uh, he can walk on the field and, you know, disaster can strike, but he's he's back to, to you know, to full full recovery. So that's a great, it's a really good feel-good story for this guy being, uh, especially a late-round pick um, to starter, you know. But, uh, yeah, he's just got to prove it. Uh, definitely just be on the field and, and be healthy. And, uh, yeah, I mean, this is, a, this is a good opportunity for him. Strong safety, they're going to have Taylor Rapp. Of course, they lost Jordan Poyer. Again, he's got to step it up as well. He's had some good years as well in the league, so it's time for him to step up and become a true starter and um, really showcase his talent to the team. Kicker, it's going to be Tyler Bass. He's on a mention. He's pretty solid, pretty, pretty solid. Great, great kick, uh, great leg power. Uh, punter Martin, who's great, has been a punter for a while. And kicker Turner is going to be Codrington. Really don't know much about him. He's a question mark. So we'll see what he does this year. And, uh, yeah, uh, depth chart looks so weird. This team looks so weird, uh, losing a lot of guys. So, you know, shuffling around, getting younger, sounds like a good thing for them. Um, it just time will tell on how that's going to pan out for their season. Oh, the Bills schedule, dude. Um, yeah, let's look at it. They beat the Cardinals week one. Um, I think they will lose to Miami tonight. Um, they will lose to the Jags, and they will lose to the Ravens. They will beat the Texans. Um, I believe that they still have some magic in them. I think uh, their leaders will come up clutch uh, for the Texans game. Um, they will lose to the Jets. I, just, I believe that the Jets are better than them. Um, in terms of roster-wise. Uh, Titans, they'll beat the Titans. They will lose to Seattle. Uh, a, because they're in Seattle. B, they, like I said, their roster just isn't as... It's just too confusing. It's like it's too much... Uh, uh, too many questions about their roster. So, 
Uh, the Dolphins, I do believe that they will beat the Dolphins one out of two to this year uh, because of this uh, divisional rivalry. I think they kind of, um, you know, they, they play they play intense. I think they'll be like that as well tonight. Um, well, uh, tonight, but also the next time they meet. You know, I think it'll both be close. The Colts, they'll beat the Colts, uh, lose to the Chiefs and the Niners. Tough to get them back-to-back -back there. Um, lose to the Rams. They will beat the Lions, the Pats, the Jets, and the Pats. They'll close it out with a really, really good win streak, which they aren't able to get in the regular season. They're going to be 9-8. and eight. Um, I just feel like the, just the amount of level of talent they have lost is um, it's too much, dude. And I think that they're going to try to be... They're going to try to win games, obviously. They're going to try to be competitive. Uh, but it's hard when you lose so much superstar talent after having a Super Bowl window. I think it's closing. Um, but, you know, it's not fully closed. You still have Josh Allen there who can, you know, who can make plays happen, who can make things happen, and who obviously has a chip on their shoulder to win something. So overall, though, the Bills, man, um, yeah, they're going to downgrade. Um, but... Still can be a playoff team. Uh, still can be competitive. So uh, time will tell. But yeah, nine and eight is a good record for them. Schedule is not not easy, man. 